well, we started and <laughs> and yeah, we learned that we'll be going after the seven deadly sins. And oh yeah, <laughs> and we, apparently we this takes. Down. Yeah, we took one down. We ran. Well, we we ran into two others. Technically, we we found we saw sloth and the other side of a uh, a chasm, and we ran into wrath, who uh, well. I'd say that battle was more of a draw than either of us getting our ass kicked. Oh, yeah, him! Yep. <laughs> okay. uh, one thing I also found out about this game is that it it handles things a bit... Well, in the other two games, if the controller wasn't on when the game was being started up, it would not recognize it no matter what. But this one does, so that is in one improvement. Uh, I have been tinkering around, so hopefully the, the FPS should be more stable now. Because it did dip down every now and then. And we also learned that the game saves wherever we end, uh, wherever we exit, or about where we exit. Because we went into the, the, serpent, the serpent holes, into the void. Oh, yeah, that was a lucky miss. <laughs> And yeah, we're just we're just exploring here to clear the place out some. Okay, FPS is fluctuating, but it's still mostly around 60. Oh well, we'll see if it gets. Uh, hmm? Yeah. I was to say also in one hour I'm just gonna go and grab a sandwich. I haven't made my sandwiches yet. Okay. Yeah. Also, what we found the flame hollow, which. Uh, it's probably the first of many, which gives us, well, our secondary weapon, which is basically a bunch of flame cudgels. Oh, what do, do we mention about flails? Uh, flail, cudgel, uh, yeah, cudgels would be more like clubs, right? Yeah, not close to the new chains there. Yeah. And your audio was stuttering it there again for a bit. Okay, and my, yeah, my voice uh, area here, everything is is looking fine. Though I could, okay. I could uh, go, uh, go out in again just in case. Yeah, that might uh, help. That that seems to have fixed things annoyingly often for us. Yeah, so just a moment. Okay, don't know exactly what we have to gain from doing that. Hmm. So let's leave it in at the moment. Okay. Test one, two. Uh, I think it's even worse now. What, really? Okay, now it wasn't, but when you did the test bit, it was. Okay. Guess we'll just have to hope that uh, Discord proves to be cooperative today. And hello there yeah. in the chat, yeah. Hello there in the chat, yes, Lord. I almost said yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a bit of a difference. Yeah. Okay, can we reach? Nope. Well, yeah, ghosts. Okay, we don't lose any health. Over oh, we do lose quite a bit of health over that. <laughs> yeah, but we don't lose the souls, though. Yeah. Unless we die, of course. So, this is definitely not where we're supposed to go, then. Uh, which means, I guess, that we have to go up the, the wall there, or something else. Yeah, <laughs> you would not have been the first. <laughs> that is very easy to see, yeah? <laughs> uh, okay, then. Maybe oh, actually... Part of the plan. Those two weren't there first, so... Yeah, we didn't, didn't we didn't need to move them into the wall anyways. We needed to move these out. There we go. And yeah, let's just go continue. Oh, I saw something what? hidden there. Thank you. Oh, demonic artifacts. Artifacts you can be used to upgrade weapon enhancements. Okay. Another thing to bring to Ultane. 
Uh, I have to say, I did not expect to find Ulthane in this game at all. Then again, he's a popular character, I very much assume. And... oh yeah. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> I was about to go, oh yeah, I can't be hurt by lava in this room, and then shot in the back out, no, not shot out of nowhere. Uh, nope. And then we get shot again. Nope. Okay, yeah, we have to be a lot more careful with the combat in this. Nope. I, now, okay, I spotted it. We... now I spotted it. Nope. My okay, voice just... connection did drop a bit there, so now... Okay, I'm just going to run straight through this because we are way too out. We are way too slow in all of that gunk. Okay. okay. Right, my about to ground slam. Okay. And also, yes. I just saw my voice meter go down a little bit, so okay. it might be my internet. Says it is a little bit pixelated now and then here today. Right, now we have to go through all of that again to get our souls back. And actually when we... Hmm, is there a way for us to fast travel to Volgrim? Probably not. Because, yeah, best use for those souls would be to just get a new weapon. or Because otherwise we're just... we're very likely to lose them eventually. Oh dear. Hmm. Especially since that area is just filled with enemies and lava that is slowing us down. Okay. Yeah, we have to be real careful not to die this- oh, come on, this time you do respawn? Yeah, yeah come on. Well, now we'll find out if we lose those souls forever or not. Hopefully uh, I, not for... Yeah, I hope not, because... Yeah, that would really piss off some people. Uh, wait, yeah, we, before... We kept 25? Okay. Uh. So it means you can only do it once. And you need to find your souls. Yet again. Okay, this time, just screw you. you I do remember we realized if you kill mobs near it, the souls go into the soul pile instead of you. True. Prob again, we, we theorized that, it's prob that is probably to uh, avoid uh, too much loss if you, if you have to fight off a bunch of enemies to get your souls again. And you... St still die some you know, by, but yeah, we have to be real okay, that careful with our dogs. So that was not the. Now where's the mm -hmm. other one? Frenzy shard. The other one is up here. Hmm. It, yeah, it better be up there. Yeah, on the other side of the room filled with lava and annoying enemies on top of high areas. Oh, it is still there. Okay, so, okay. So they are not as a pain in the ass with it as Dark Souls. Actually, we can use this to move around a bit and get at these assholes. That's good, actually, for they probably play Dark Souls and realize, okay, this is an interesting system, but a bit too punishing for our liking. Yeah. This is good, so they didn't just... Uh, well, they probably didn't want to uh, outright uh, rip it off. But they probably also knew the downsides of the system as well. Yeah. yeah. Taking that early. Okay. I think keep them... They, if I can keep them to one side of me for the most of it, and... Yep. It doesn't help if the camera goes into a freaking lava fall. Give me those. And there. Now we can 
get smacked around again by a basic enemy. Okay, we might have to lower the air difficulty to story anyways, if this keeps going. Yeah, do how? It's restarting. We aren't too far into the game. And uh, maybe there's even an option somewhere. Oh, wait. Oh, there we... Okay, balanced story. Okay, yeah. Hallelujah. But that, yeah, that pop-up there was probably like, uh, if you uh, change the difficulty, you will not get the... Uh, you will lose the ability to get uh, uh, achievements for that difficulty or something like that. Probably. We, we yeah. are doing it with achievements. We yeah, doing achievements are a nice extra. Story. Yeah, if we do get an achievement, then sure. But we're not going out of the way of the way 100%ing it. True. The most, the most we really get from achievements with this is they, if they make a joke, uh, <laughs> in it. Yeah. The thing, but there's extremely few games I hundred percented. And that's mm -hmm. by doing hundred percent story related things, and not just games uh, achievements. Just hundred percent story related things. Most yeah. people, even it's store hundred percent story completion. Like all side missions and such. At least you get more story and rewards and such, so there's a reason. An achievement yeah. just. Um, you kill 100 enemies in 15 seconds! Impressive! You get nothing! <laughs> you see my point? Yeah. Only time I care about achievements is if they actually reward me with something useful, like in Guild Wars 2. Yeah, and then like it's mostly you... in-game achievements and such, and not on Steam or so. Yeah, for if you get the title, it's, it's okay. Or if you like, for example, finish the achievement with the finish an entire elite class, you will get you will get a bonus armor. This is awesome for a role player as me. It just means more cosmetic. Yeah, which is actually what I was mostly busy with uh, with most of my time in uh, Guild Wars, <laughs> Fashion Wars. <laughs> yeah. Do it is actually it's not just it. You actually item with stats, but you're getting you also get the skin at the same time. So free armor and skin basically. Yeah. And I can say this: you're gonna love the new expansion. It's the okay. best one di uh, up to date. Okay. Uh, you, you remember how much one could struggle in Half of Thorns and Path of Fire at times? Yeah, Hearts of Thorns mostly because it felt like they forgot to balance things a bit. <laughs> yeah, they, they were better in Path of Fire, but they still have some balancing issues. But Arrow Dragons. Balanced. Best balance so far. I'm, if I die, I'm not gonna feel like it was an unfair fight. If I die, I feel like, okay, I. It was, a, it was a fair fight, I can see why I lost. As well, the hero points are not group fights. Uh, robotic. Uh, yeah, I saw that, and I saw that uh, my screen also like that. That is a bit of in. I saw a voice meter. That was due to my... That was due to my intra, that's how it go right there. Okay. Oh yeah. Probably it also doesn't help too much that I play an elementalist mainly on Guild Wars, which tend to be a bit squishy. I think they could be do just fine this one. For th this many ones, you sit down and uh, with these uh, hero points, you sit down and chat. But those you do find, you can solo them for once. Okay. But they're not spawning a damn champion anymore, like in Power Fire and Hot of Thrones. Uh, Hot of Thrones. Hot of Thorns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, champions being one uh, grade short of being, uh, yeah, the highest, diff the strongest enemies in the game, for context for people watching. Yeah. Elite is the second vet. I think veteran comes then. So regular yeah. veteran, elite, and champion. Hmm. Okay. Then of course, Here's... world boss. 
Okay. Greetings. Take your time. Now, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Rejuvenation core. Uh, yeah, we already saw that. Unfocused rage. Uh, plus 10% weapon chance uh, spawns wrath after killing an enemy. Uh, we, sh we should keep in mind to use wrath for our attacks. <laughs> we have we have completely forgotten about that most of the time. Yeah. And we get healed when we do use it. Yeah, that's the, uh, the chaos mode. Uh, Right. Uh, Havoc mode. Okay, it, it is an enhancement, True. not a, a full new weapon. Okay. Also, a theory about the uh, Volgrim. Yeah. Look at his horns. Yeah, they've been broken off at the tips. No, no, no. Look at close his skull. Yeah, they they widen out a lot, <laughs> just a bit away from it. I, here's my theory. What if he used to be more meaty? Hmm. Like the area that looks like it's missing might have been filled with the flesh at one point. And when you look at him, he looks extremely scrawny. Yeah, compared to most other demons. Yeah, so he might be once powerful and when he got more scrawny, the horns don't shrink. But skin does, so... No, well... Wait, no, his skull wouldn't shrink. Okay, now I wonder, how much skin did he have there? Oh, oh, come. Come on. <laughs> Again, it's just a theory. As we watch Helium fall, just fail and fall again and again and again. There we go. Just a little bit short of that. Yeah, we're not finding that thing on that short, uh, smaller path. Okay. There we go. Hmm. I've decided on a bit of a strategy when it comes to. To using souls and such. Uh, whenever we find Volgrim or pass him by, uh, we'll feed him whatever uh, spare souls we have on us. And when we want to buy stuff, we use the uh, the crushable item, the, the consumables, to get more of it. Uh, wrong no, you, you get what I mean. The pickups that we keep finding, we'll use those. We'll use those to fund those purchases. Um, unless we get a good amount, a good amount to buy stuff. Okay, use that while they're knocked down. That's that's another one. We need to not get cornered, because that is sure to get us killed. Also, these little pistons up here are gonna go. Are just the damn clubbers? Did you know they were ranged? Right. There, get some them dealt with. And yeah, it is just the normal club building ones. Come on. Yeah, no. Get in one last hit. Uh, and all of this is optional. Actually, I'm not sure if we can progress much further, since the other way seemed to be locked. Okay. The moment I thought the head was going to fall down again. Uh, let's see. Anyways, uh, yes, Thor, you, you doing well there? Is there anywhere else? Oh, oh, we just... Okay, this is this here. And... Oh. Okay. 
Oh, that moves the one that we were standing on. <laughs> okay, Ooh. didn't expect that. Uh, then we head here. Okay, is this a puzzle or just traversal? Let's see. Okay, we need to get there, but there's a block blocking it. Okay, and we're one of these is going to move that, I presume. So we need to go back then. What's that? Just a small clump. Okay, what do you move? Nope, oh, that one. Okay. Any others? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, hmm. We can't stand on it as it moves. I just... I think we're just a little bit too much standing on... Nope, not on top of uh, the pedestal. There we go. And if I hit you, what happens then? Or are you just going to send me back? No, you move that. Okay. It still doesn't reveal a path to us, though. So, yeah, this is definitely a puzzle. Hmm. Oh, dear. Right, um, you're just gonna go and grab my sandwich. Okay. Oh, it's... Okay, the other one didn't seem to move anything. So maybe you are just supposed... Maybe that revealed a button on one of the others. So let's go take a look then. Nothing here. Okay, that doesn't seem to have revealed anything. Okay, then. What if I go back here? Activate you. Is that going to change anything? No, it only removes... only lowers this one. So I can hit it again. Which brings this one back. And almost drops us into the abyss. Okay, how the hell are we supposed to get by here, then? Hmm. Also, we should probably see about equip... Yes, we need to equip the enhancement for it to actually... You... Yes, but uh, hold... I'm not used to these games requiring the, you to hold a button. Okay, so we should start seeing our health regenerate now. Hmm. Okay, uh, unless... Oh, oh, I saw something there. Okay. So we need to put, move this one back. down and then we hit this there we go it's behind that one okay so if we know we know there's a button we can hit on that one hmm then we're going to need to find a way to get to it then or to expose it somewhere else. Um, it went behind these three. No, behind those two. So if there's a way to lower those, we can move on from here. If not, then we'll just warp out of here and continue with the rest. Okay, are, do you seriously only move... Yes, this one seriously only moves this block to and from. Now, if we hit this one, will it reveal the other block? No. It will actually 
block that one as well. Or it'll block it another way anyways. In a way that we cannot get to it. Even if we were to try and rush over there. So unless there is another button somewhere hidden here. I think we're stuck. Oh well. Back to Volgrim mm -hmm. and out of here then. Hmm. I'm guessing we'll need some other movement option. Or maybe I'm just being blind. For now though, we're headed back. Hmm. Okay, why is the FPS dipping into the thirties there? What would you ask of please take your time? Let's see, Lord of Lord of Hollow's room, blistering bridge. What? What are these places? I'm pretty sure we ha haven't been to these, unless these are the council's chambers or something. Or, yeah, we have definitely not been here. So this must be extra stuff or something. If it is, then what we're not really going to touch it. Then. Well, can we go we'll talk to war? Let's see. I'd, I'd say it'd be nicer to have an actual map showing these, but oh well. Yeah, hopefully we will find a map. I think if there was one in the game, we'd likely have gotten it by now. And Okay, I was about to ask. Did the game crash or something? But no. Yeah, I got good as well. Bloody heck. No. We know that Sloth is over there. Question is, how do we get there? First off, though, now that we have the Flame Hollow, we can break this open. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'd forgotten that these things have that stock screen. Hey, mind your own business, spider. I do have to say, many stock screens are not used nowadays. Yeah, I, I guess I, that's why they thought they could get away with using it, perhaps. <laughs> That what I wanted to give people nostalgia for was very used in older games and older movies, especially. Yeah, there's a reason why people still use the Wilhelm scream, even if it's just partially for the memes. <laughs> yeah, and there are some other screams they still use as well. But I think many do want to do their own screams nowadays, where they more people can afford it. Let's see. Yep, we definitely weren't here before. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> what the? Yep. Yep. Okay, audio stuttering. Hmm. Still need to find out what specifically recharges uh, the Nephilim's rip uh, respite. Yeah, uh, actually, I wonder. Let's go to options. Uh, hmm. There's something I wonder. Is there a way for us to see what the enemy is called? Let's see. Hide HUD, no. Target modes, damage numbers, quick weapon swap. Not sure what that is. Combat modes. Okay, we can even swap between uh, default and classical combat. And in case you get stuck, a force respawn. That's not something you see often in games. Uh, but it looks like this the is answer a... is a no. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Did I? Yes, I accidentally swapped it to win full screen windowed again. But again, he means he accidentally did that before the stream. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a bit pity. 
For they had they added that in the second game because I feel that that was nice, so we could understand what we were facing. Yep. And again, this is the well, this is the oldest and likely also the smartest of the uh, horsemen. So it make you know, it makes sense for him to know uh, the types of enemies he is facing and well. Fury, well, she would not give a shit about what they're called, only if they will bleed or not. <laughs> so, in a way, it makes uh, in game, se in world sense. Maybe? I'm a bit unsure. I, I just I suspect they, that maybe people complained uh, that the names uh, felt off or something. Uh, I somewhat doubt that. Okay, gimme. We know what these... Th oh, oh, I see what's going on. We need to use these uh -oh. things to feed them the purple stuff to break the purple walls. So, come here and do your job. Uh, hello. Don't mind me, as I just backstab you. Wait, even that sound is stock for footage. Wait, stock footage. Uh, I think that's audio. a wrong word I'm using. Yeah. Stock audio. Oops. Is it? It, wait, it might be one. They just uh, may have fiddling around with it, so it doesn't sound as obvious. Could be, uh, I don't know. I don't recognize it from anywhere else, or I, at least I don't actively recognize it from somewhere else. Let's see. Oh, hello. I almost didn't see you there. Jump out. Oh, we have full Havoc form, but we're not going to use that. Especially since this thing is as good as dead already. Oh, fragment of Adamantine. That's nice. Can use that to upgrade something. No. We can't get into there, whatever that stuff may be. I probably don't even want to know what it is. <laughs> so, for now, this way we go. And again, we get ambushed by one of these things. Oh, day! And some other sort of spider. I have Everyone no freaking. Everyone instantly freak died. Yeah, because we broke its cocoon before it was ready. I presume. Possibly. What if we here? Okay, the swing act systems remain. Uh, what have we here? No, and did we find a secret thing out? <laughs> or is this just another passage? Maybe, but also nice detail that her fire turns off when she swims. Yeah. Hmm. It's rather often in games that if you have a flame effect on something that it doesn't get extinguished in water. And did we just... No, we did not <laughs> skip the entire area. Yeah, or, or, mm. it, or that it, if it, it gets extinguished in water and you have to reapply it once you get up. Here you just automatically reapply it off your top. Okay, and a large clump and hello. Yeah, not even going to bother <laughs> doing Okay, we're, okay, that opened up the gates there. So we we accidentally found our way immediately to how to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no need to fight at all. Is there any other? Okay. No. I, I, I just saw what happened. Yeah. It just said pshh. Yep. When you're down in the water. Yeah. Nice detail.
I still don't know how to swap between the hollows, probably because we only have this one active. And... Uh, hello, the heck are you? Is that human? No. Oh, no, it's... Okay, it's one of these when they are undisturbed. Okay. Wait, are they supposed to be mimics? I wasn't sure it was a person in a hood at first. Yeah, it, it looked like it looked like someone you know, from a distance. Hmm. No, that... <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently there's these spiders are part lemming. Uh, that was <laughs> that was funnier than it should have been. Okay, so crab spiders. Don't like deep water. Good to know. <sighs> but they seem to love being near water. Yes, I, I just guess they prefer water they don't need to swim in. Yeah, and there it is again. It it it, ha it looks like some sort of cultist like this. So that is definitely trying to lure people. Yep, definitely with how it jumps like that. Okay, so it is basically a mimic then. Yep, it's a mimic spider. No. Yeah, I right, suspect they probably got that idea from the movie Mimic. Yeah, I... Okay, I see their tactic. If they... You know, if someone gets up close, they just leap at them and envelop them completely. If they catch on that something is up, They'll spit at them, hit them with that goo that is likely to, at the very least, slow them down. And then they come charging in. Devious. Yeah, the heck. yeah that might be a good choice of words. This is likely a shortcut. <laughs> I like that Yuri is ab above just using her hands with this. Is this... Yeah, this is the same area. It is just a shortcut, but you weren't here before. Okay. I was expecting it to leap. Not to, uh... Yeah. Claw. No, no, we are not dying to you. I did not see you there entirely. Oh yeah, starting with the charged flame attack is going to be the best option and, well, probably the best in a counter attack as well. Because it applies that burn effect as... Okay, 2300, a good little, gra uh, little, yeah, good little grab we got together from that. Indeed. Now, what is something that we could put on these for use? Hmm. Let's check his wares. Greetings. Take your time. Nothing new, I presume. Hmm. We probably want this. I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, it's probably not an equipable. This is just a... Oh, hello. Flame Hollow Armor. Wreath and Flames is elemental armor. Increases the potency of flame attacks. 15% uh, flame arcane. 5% damage reduction. And 5% extra lurchers from Shattering Crystals. Okay, we 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 want this. And he has... Oh, he has infinite amount of these. Okay. Probably going nice. to unlock more and more as we get in further. Uh, okay. So I guess if enemies do respawn, it should be easy to grind uh, souls then. I presume they they don't give too much, at least. As you wish. But it would be possible to slowly but surely grind out souls. And yeah, we they are lurches, but we're just going to keep calling them souls. Um, Mostly due to that, but they call them in other games. I have no idea why they start to call them lurches for her. Let's see. For 600, uh, 2600, um, 2600, is it, uh, we have a freaking lot of these. Oh, <laughs> oh 
1200, okay. Uh, 26, and this would be... I don't know. I'm trying to do quick math. Uh, 270, so that would be about 5,000 with this. Uh, 6,000 something. Uh, okay, we should be, be... We are close to having enough. Oh, excellent. Uh, 24, 36, 36, and then uh, 20, 20, uh, 53, five, uh, 50, 73. Okay, I think we we should have enough in total, and actually shatter all instead, and then. And no, again, we are just short. <laughs> okay, well, at the very least, we know that we have no full, we have no actual risk of losing these. So if we can just get our hands on 215 more, we can get that armor. And, well, this will be a good moment to see what you are. Oh, hello. Screw the both of you. Okay, and it quick, so we have some left, and yeah, now we have enough. <laughs> I wonder, were developers fan of Ghost Rider? I uh, wouldn't be surprised, but yeah, that was that was a full-on ambush on us. Hang on, look! The souls! Yeah, we have more than the, we have enough now. Uh, actually, yeah, we this is low enough for us to get back here. Uh, and yeah, before we drop these, let's turn them in, and the extra we can just feed to him. Yeah, we can feed the Vulcan as a tip. <clears throat> Pardon? Your time. There we go. I wonder, will that change how she looks? I hope so. And sir, are there any... Uh, there's probably going to be upgrades to how many charges we can hold in the, the respite. Here's your bonus. As you wish. <laughs> now then, do we have to actively equip it? Yes, we do. Okay. And uh, actually, is there a different way we can get out of here? Yes, there is. So let's have a we quick look up changed. here. I mean, oh, actually, shame. Yeah, it did. Okay, let's do a double check on that then. So. Okay, and then here, actually the only difference that there seems to be on here at least is the, the coloring in the middle. Yeah, it's the most of the coloring. Yeah, there, there, there is still a difference. Okay. Yeah, small but fitting. <laughs> oh, oh. It's safe. <laughs> it is. It's safer than annoying the woman with the flaming hair. <laughs> In this world, she is not going to be freaking Starfire. Let's oh, see. Then. Bloody heck! I just remembered it. Someone made a book about Starfire's daughter, and apparently the author really disliked Starfire, so they made. Try to make her villain, and uh, so far I can say people hated that book. Okay. Yeah, like official book or fan fiction? Uh, they made it official, but I think no one wants it to be official. Okay. Uh, I think it was called uh, My Mother's Starfire or something. Oh. 
We were speaking about the Hel uh, Wilhelm scream, and there it was. <laughs> and that's the big spider that we just saw pass by. Hmm. But yeah, I know that the comic book or is a mix of comic book and novel. I know that it was for a while all over the internet, and it was very. It was one of Momo's uh, biggest fail last year of novels. Okay. Can't say I've heard of it, but from the sounds of it, I'll probably hear of it through Linkara eventually. They might spare you just for how bad it was for... Basically, no one likes the main character at all for... Apparently, she's a very unlikable, mm -hmm. and it seems to also want people to relate yeah. to her, but there's, yeah, utterly failing with that, since the character is very wrong or something. And for the other character. Scene, uh, just, just a weird person who does it, basically hates everything the mother the mother does and yeah just behave like a just behaves like a shitty daughter in this case and expect to be the one uh, be uh, yield free or just just weird oh, okay i was expecting a slower attack okay I was actually expecting this thing to be turn out to be a boss fight or something. Where is it? No, this is a smaller version. Where is it? Either way, it's on fire, so let's kill it with fire. That's a, that, there's actually a, a game out there called Kill It With Fire, which is all about just killing spiders. Yeah, a friend of mine bought it just to kill spiders, the spider, for he really hates spiders. He actually have a form of phobia for it. Mm. I, I wouldn't say that I... I wouldn't say that I'm arachnophobic. It's... I think I already also said this during uh, Dark Messiah. Uh, but I... I just find them absolutely disgusting. Yeah... I can handle driders, but... I can handle spiders, but I am not a fan of them either. Yeah. And also, I think you... We've been talking about this five times in different streams. <laughs> Could be. Uh, or more. <laughs> actually, a, a phobia is when you have an irrational fear of something. Uh, so yeah, just being disgusted by spiders would not count as that. Yeah, actually, just one person we have that has a severe case of spider phobia. And during one of those when we were talking to him... The chance, did they? Ooh. Earthlings of any species. Mm. All right. Uh, as I say, the, this a friend. I think we were talking all that. We were several people, and suddenly he stopped to panic before laughed a little bit. But the more we were screaming, the more the less we laughed, the more concerned we got. Yeah, there are there are rational way, you know, reasons to fear spiders. Uh, because some are, of course, very, very venomous and such. Uh, I, oh, I believe, actually, in Australia or some place, uh, there was actually an episode of Peppa Pig that was recalled and just removed from syndication because, uh, yeah, it was about not fearing spiders, and, yeah, it's Australia, so everything but the kitchen sink is trying to kill you, and with some luck, even the kitchen sink will try to kill you. Uh, what? With your so, yeah, you have to be very careful with spiders in Australia and other places. Oh, gosh, me. I think you missed a little bit of a joke there. <laughs> like uh, with her personality. Okay, I thought those were destroyable, and okay, this is getting very dark now. Yeah, we are uh, so getting uh, jumped. I heard of the, the Papa Pit thing. I think they banned it due to 
They did not want children to accidentally try to befriend the, the venomous spiders. Yeah. I think I think there have been other things that uh, teach you to respect spiders but keep your distance. Is is probably allowed as well for? Nah. Yeah. Basically, like the spiders are fine as long you leave it alone. Yep. Or in some cases, get a professional to get it away. Yep. Yeah. I I I have no issue with spiders most of the time, mostly because in in my country here it's a rather temperate uh, climate, so we don't have many or we don't have any big spiders, only the small little shits. But yeah, uh, okay. I just go with you stay the fuck out of my place, I stay the fuck out of your place. But if you come into my place, it's for chemical warfare. Yeah, I I'm supposed to use a bug catcher thing and release the spiders so I don't need to kill them. And I got bug nets year round on my windows to keep the bees out. For before the bug nets, like th there's something with bees, they refuse to leave. Once they enter the house, they are unable to leave. Which led me to use a vacuum cleaner to get rid of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically, I take the vacuum cleaner and I put a extra pipe for another vacuum clip on top of it so I have basically a three meter long vacuum cleaner hose or a rod uh. for just the long distance just to get rid of them should I so even I make have... the joke? Uh, go on for the bees that must have really sucked <laughs> you let me make it you let me make it Yeah, I killed many bees, but I, again, I did get the bug net where I did not want to kill them. I killed them before I... There was no other choice, because he refused. But actually, there was one I actually got out, if I flew out. Only for it to fly back in. <laughs> uh, so that was your... Uh, you know, of course, this means war moment, right? Yeah, and I want to declare war on flies. Okay. What would you have this? Let's feed you your scraps. I think it's kind of funny. These, I, I'm happy I no longer need to kill, but if I find a fly or a mosquito, sure flies and mosquito will kill on sight, for they are just plain annoying and they don't contribute too much. <coughs> Pardon. Forgiven. Let's put some in there. All right then. Oh, there's a big bugger over there. And we can't actually go there, even though it looks like we should totally be able to. Burn doesn't last too long, but it still deals a decent amount. And enjoying the view, Volgrim. You could, you know, try and help a bit, seeing as I feed you. That's fine. Okay, no souls for him. <laughs> All right. No. Okay, I presume we're getting closer and closer to the queen of this hive. Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, just talking about animals give, makes me remember weird animal facts I learned. Uh, like, a wolverine killed a polar bear. I think you said something akin to that before somewhere, yeah. No yeah. idea how the hell you even cross paths with those two. I think it was happening in a zoo or something. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. And if you want, if people wonder how Wolverine killed that polar bear, it, the first thing the Wolverine did is go for a throat. Yeah, which is 
generally what they do, I believe. Yeah, except for moose, they, or a moose, they can just jump right on the, on the fruit or jump from a tree and land on the back, then go for the neck. Yeah, there's a reason why one of the fiercest characters in the Marvel Universe yeah, is named after them. Yeah, I should and start opening with that if they can attack. I did. I didn't know who was named after that animal. For I didn't know Wolverine was, as we Swedes call them, Jagger Waffles. Good Jagger Waffles. Jarv. Is it also? Here's a fun, fun thing. It is named animal, but it's also. Basically, the Swedish word for boldness or daring. <laughs> this probably fits pretty well for Wolverines. They are pretty bold and daring. Uh, I think, uh, I think the name uh, or I think the term uh, "suicidally vicious" would fit better <laughs> because they will just, you know. Okay, I think I'll they. They're mimicking their cocoons. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, a full-on ambush of three of these. So it was tech it was a bit of a double ambush. Just first these things mimicking the well mimicking things, and then two others to double up on it. Yeah. Uh, what is that sign board? Uh, oh, come on, this guy again. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, now, uh, to be add a bit of context. Uh, Drakir and I watch... Uh, <laughs> Drakir and I watch shows on the site, on the, typically on the days that we don't stream. And lately, uh, the last thing that we saw was an episode of... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave out which show it was, but there basically was a billboard. Uh, there was a gag billboard that uh, basically read, Injured? Do you want to be? Call this number and such. And now we find, well, <laughs> Injured? Call our office today. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> that, that was actually funny more for a different reason. Yeah, we had to solve that yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Good gods. Uh, Ickies. Well, it's definitely icky in here. And there's Yunk. Uh, so I have to be honest, that's a fancy symbol for Yunk. It's, it's a, it looks like a bird. Else? Okay, we can't continue here until we get whatever purple hollow is so we have up the stairs or down a crawly hole over there I'm guessing that up the stairs will be progress and oh gosh I swear myself I think I told this before but when I was young and lived back in my village we were to go to a area with to some celebration with the village and suddenly me and my mother get jump scared by a badger. <laughs> that was dead. Okay, uh, double points for the badger. Uh, Please, save me. Here's the thing, it was probably very dead for... When we saw it, before it was still alive, then, then looking at it, we realized, wait, it's not moving. And he had just, he just said, it was basically a road where we walked. A sidewalk, and next to it was a slight grassy hill. So I just walked up there, laid his head down, and died there. Okay. It was so fresh that, yeah, if you saw it, you would probably think it's still alive. But we realized, wait, it's not moving. Why is it not moving? Then we realized, oh, it just had plopped there and died. Yeah, it could have been poisoned or something, whatever. Yeah, so it was not run over, so that would have been obvious, but we saw that the body was just fine. So it it might have died of old age at the uh, worst spot. 
What the? I see no line here. <laughs> um, really? Yeah, personally, I'm I'm not so I'm not much of a car person. For one, they take up a lot of. Uh, well, I'm not into car culture much. I'll say that. Um, yeah, my I, twin is. Yeah, and um, personally, I see a car as nothing more of just a, a way of getting from A to B, and yeah, a, a car that a car that just does that. Oh, hello. Your talisman. We're close. This time you watch. You do not speak. Uh, basically, my, my idea is if I buy a car, it should last me at least a couple of decades uh, before it would uh, need to be replaced or such. Uh, yeah, consider how expensive cars are. No, I prefer horse. And yeah, I have a motorcycle already anyways. If I need, if I would need to move something, I could just rent uh, a bigger car for that. Let's see, 12. Yeah, um, I, actually you should be, here's the thing. When I had a temporary job, I was meant to take a bus at first, but I just felt that the, uh, waiting for the bus was felt so stressful for knowing that, you know what? I will work to work. So yeah, I spent like 40 minutes to work working. Well, it's like actually 45 minutes walking to work and 45 minutes back. Okay, Three days a week. Exercise. Oh yeah, and I felt like, you know what? I, I, I don't like just rushing to the bus, waiting 10 minutes, sit in a cramped bus. Well, I just could just walk. I don't need to stress, I work at my own pace. Fury. Fantastic. Yeah, of course. Your day of reckoning is at hand, sloth. You will be judged in combat like all the others. Darling, please. You are not to be fighting anything or anyone anytime soon. You have no choice. There's always a choice, darling. I choose not to ch ch choose. Too much of a bother. I laugh at you, but it's too much effort. Don't take offense. You'll no. play your part well in our wee morality play. But really, why bother? It's the apocalypse. Whoa, I'm completely over it. My sole concern is comfort. That sounds familiar. No. And as you can see, I have many minions for that. <laughs> it's all they live for. You should try it. I've got you a few slaves if you'll just relax. I shall once leave your kin lie dead. I only hope the rest put up more of a fight than you! <laughs> Let them stand or fall. It matters not to me. You understand? Don't you, horseman? The futility of it. Why not join me? Take a load off and enjoy the nothingness. I bet you take to it quite easily. Would you abandon your mission? No. <laughs> Is that so? The Great Fury would not allow herself to fall prey to such a creature. Are you truly up to the task? I love he was influencing her, <laughs> and she almost fell for it. No, she's the Lord of the angry. Flies. <laughs> oh, for... it, it can I call it... Say here, the first thing about photos. Oh, he's talking. I can barely hear what he says. He's not even bothering to speak up. 
Yeah, and it's said it pixelated just with the text this. Yeah. Also, but there was a. He, he looks like a bug version of Kugaf, the Plague Lord, from Warhammer Fantasy. Okay, it's going to be annoying if these side ones are going to keep respawning, because it's very clear that we need to get rid of the ones carrying him around. Oh, thank you. Okay, nice to, th to see that they actually replace it. <laughs> they move around. Okay, and he summons them. Wait. Oh, now he actually gets off his lazy ass. <laughs> Camera. Oh. him to his shape. Ooh. I know I heard about the dying bug sounds before. Hmm? The spider, the plastic spiders in Guild Wars 2 during Halloween event does the same sound when you kill them. <laughs> okay. Along with some skeletons too. Let me use this. Okay, and then using, nope, not using another, we're using this. Okay, and I dodged this once. There we go, that one is a lot easier to dodge. Was that a fart he did? <laughs> Not sure, that's sure we want to... No, either. Go. This spice movement. Okay. Yeah, he is a. I, I think I actually have to hit a bug. Like, I think it's a term. There's a term called lazy bug. And into the magical ghost trap he goes. <laughs> oh, hey, Envy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Most exercise he's had in a millennium. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, just trip in there. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, Sloth is... <laughs> Having some effect on her reflexes still. 
Let's see. Maybe? Arcane on evades, charge attacks, wrath attacks, and havoc form. Okay. So more than just well, magic attacks, but we don't really have specific magic weapons. Like, um, actually, no, with death, it was the Reaper. It, well, it was only on the wrath attacks. Welcome again. It's not like I had a choice in the matter. Do you kidnap all your guests? You would not be so disrespectful if you knew the true power I give you. Your battle with Sloth proved you will not succumb to comforts before your mission is complete. <laughs> you are ready for stronger tools of destruction. Another toy for me to play with. You're far too generous. The Storm Hollow. Use it wisely. Why not give me all your gifts and get it over with? If you're so keen to arm one of the horsemen. Be gone. <laughs> okay, so now we get to play with electricity. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna beat Helium to it. Oh, storm form. You've been thunderstruck! <laughs> well, not yet, but they are going to be. Luminous Visage. These Tether's remains can be shattered in your inventory to require the power trap within. Shed to gain an attribute point. Okay. Ooh. And let's see. Left back. And yeah, people, I didn't really think that I would move or... Well, I don't want to stab all the people in the house. Or the neighbors. Okay, with this Looks we get like a spear. Toy. Looks like a glaive. Hmm. Wait, let's take a look. Do we have a name? Can we see what it's called? Yeah, it should be in here. Let's see. Chains of Scorn. No. Lands of Scorn. That does okay. not look like a lance. That looks like a glaive. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The Storm Hollow sends surges of calamitous electricity through Scorn, and now a spear, uh, as it shocks nearby enemies into submission. Fury can also charge and throw the spear to hit targets at range. Okay. That is going to be the most interesting thing of those, probably. Uh, but how do we swap back to the flame, then? Oh, I think I know how. If we switch back to Flame Hollow... You get the uh, flame flails. Let's see. Oh, oh okay. Left ball, yeah, uh, left shoulder, and B, and I for. Okay, I'm presuming that means that we'll be getting uh, four at the very least. Oh. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> Well done, Hillian. Now everyone will... Now the train will never be on time. And that actually loops us back here. Okay. By the way, I hope you don't take offense, Fury. Yet I'm certain I will. <laughs> yes. Well, don't slaughter the messenger and puree his guts, as the saying goes. Whispers of your martial prowess have spread throughout certain circles, horsemen. There are those who would like to put your talents to the test, if you wish to humor them. I do not. But if you did, out of curiosity or pride or plain old greed like a normal person, say the word. And the serpent hole shall convey you unto the crucible. The crucible? Ugh, bit on the nose, isn't it? Says the furious <laughs> horseman named Fu <laughs> Enough, Fulgrim. What's in this for you? Ten percent. A demon's got to make a living. And for you, rewards that should pique a warrior's interest, assuming you survive. Consider it, or don't. Okay, this again. I think it was very what close to get beaten up there. Yep. This 
Okay, beat his addiction. And... As you wish. Take your time. I kind of want to get one of these, but it would be more, yeah, better used near uh, boss fights and such. Otherwise, just any old bug could <laughs> could, yeah, could get a, a lucky shot on us and waste it. Uh, let's see, anything else? A storm hollow armor. Okay, it, it, the same as the fire one, but double the cost. So let's not yet. As you wait, this will be fun for both of us. As you okay. wish. <laughs> hmm. Now we need to find where the next uh, of the sins is. We do have the compass pointing this way. But I think for now it'll probably be easier to head back to uh, the haven. And then we'll see where it points us there. Yeah, and plus ooh, ooh, hey. yeah, he, he, might some, uh, he might have some... He might have some... He might have some rewards for us. I hope he upgrades and I wonder... Should we use the crucible for get more souls or other rewards that might be handed there? Hmm, we can take a look at it. But for now we should focus on, well, hunting down the sins. Let's see, we've had envy, well, we I was have just thinking uh, that the... Uh, well... The rewards could be useful for hunting the sins. True. Well, Max Fury. Oh, okay. Right. Let's see what that can Oh, hello. We actually have a choice here. Let's see. If we take it this way, we get more lurchers and breaking stuff. But if we take it this way, we get more health regeneration. I'd say we go for this one. Uh, because, yeah, we, we'll be getting plenty of lurchers just from beating foes and such. And I like how one uh, one way need requires uh, the angelic artifacts and the other the demonic ones. So, Oh, that makes go. sense. Possible, but now you're even deadlier. And it, yeah, okay. definitely. So considering we just turn this to story level uh, difficulty and we're still struggling a little bit? Uh, okay, I just notice now. Your decor is unfocused, but these are angelic and demonic leviathan. We could prob yep. possibly even make more of, the, of these. Interesting. Aiming to lead and for the rest, we can upgrade these. Best work. Okay. Interesting. Best and blessings to you. Bests and blessings. That that's a new line. Okay. Let's see. This way. Again, a map would be useful. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. And I actually something I forgot to say earlier that I'm kind of happy. Sloth was a bug, a lazy bug, and not a actual sloth. <laughs> that would have been too on the nose even for this series. Yeah. So it would probably still be terrifying for... Imagine they could make a terrifying sloth in this game. I believe one of the House of the Dead games actually has a mutant sloth as, an, as a boss fight. I think it's number four. Um, oh yeah, I heard of that one. <laughs> that one looks disturbing. Hmm. I don't think any of the Basically, House of the Dead games have ever been ported to anything that we have in, uh, in our arsenal. Uh, one of them is on PlayStation 3 and maybe 4? And there's uh, House of the Dead Overkill on the Wii. Wii oui, Wii? Oui. Or shall we use the... T Wait, Wii oui, Wii oui means yes, yes? Yeah. Wait. Gaming useless say yes, yes. No, no. 
Oh god, does that mean that we say we oui, we oui a lot if there's a French version of it? <laughs> oh, good chance. Uh, also, for the fact, it will be one. Uh, you first. Oh, hello. There is a C. Look. What the heck? What the? Visible. There you go. Right, I was to say, I heard sometimes ra other races in different languages and such. Dude, there's one language I. I try to imagine orcs, like especially like Warhammer orcs, try to speak French and mind your spring, your breaks. <laughs> Uh, that would be something, yeah. Nope. Oh, come it's on. More like, are getting eaten I can't that. even begin to imagine how that will sound. Like, it, for me, it feels like French is the last thing a, a Warhammer orc would speak. <laughs> uh, now we have to uh, take a look at the, the French translation of uh, one of the Warhammer games eventually, then. Oh, gods. And actually, the Warhammer in the the Dawn of War, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, in Dawn of War Two, or at least two of its uh, sort of semi sequels, uh, I believe it's two, or maybe it's only one in Retribution. At least you can play as the orcs, so we'll definitely be changing the <laughs> language to French on them <laughs> at one point. You, no, please. Okay, and with the storm form, we actually get a bit of levitation. Handy, actually. Oh, that poor... Do you, do, you, do you recognize the pose? He just did. Yeah, it looks a bit like Storm from the X-Men. Yeah. That was intentional, I bet. Okay, yep. Using this. And yeah, I... Oh, hello, you're... Okay, bit of a ceremonial-like mask. And yeah, I rem remember now, and we also saw it from one of the things that we killed up there. We. The uh, the charges for the respite can also be dropped by enemies. Oh, hello. Like that. <laughs> okay, so it would in general be a good idea to have one charge of it used so we can pick up another. For now, I'm mostly going to stay in flame form. So we have that, that boost jump. Oh dear. Uh, oh, I just had an idea. Hmm? If we play the, as the orcs on Donald War 2, we should practice our orcish accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There is one issue with... Uh, Retribution on that matter, and I don't think I can jump high enough for this. Uh, it's that whatever species you choose, you act, you basically play through the same levels and such. That, so yeah, it, it is it is nice that you can choose the faction that you want to play as. And again, it's six, I believe. The Space Marines, Chaos Marines, Orcs, Elder, Imperial Guard, and Tau, I believe. But yeah, nice. the, the only real thing you'll get out of playing through the, through the game as all of the factions is just the different chats and such. Oh, oh Tyranids, Tyranids, not Tau, yeah. Uh, why the hell did I think, think Tau? They're hmm. probably a part of the game as well, so it would be weird for them to skip out Tau. Yeah, I, I know that in one of those games you can play as Tau, because I read something of about that on uh, TV Tropes, because yet 
the one thing with the, the Tau in Warhammer 40k is that uh, there they apparently cannot be affected by you know the, by chaos at all. So, uh, oh, Dawn of War, uh, Dark Crusade. Okay, I don't think I ever played that uh, expansions. I believe it's the um, word for it. I have, and I also pool. played Firewall in PlayStation 2. But yeah, the, the, the Tau aren't affected by chaos, so at one point they act. If you fight as the Tau, you actually get to uh, face off. Now the chaos will start and will be taunting you across the com you know, across the radio, and then the the Tau commander goes, "Whoever's you know, playing around on the comms, shut the fuck up." <laughs> Basically, no selling uh, their corruption whispering bullshit. Yeah, and also, also here's another thing with the Tau. The Tau don't travel through the warp, but they don't have the technology. Yeah. Which means they travel through space much slower. Okay. Oh, I was hoping to... Oh, I was hoping to only be able to face one of these at a time. But oh well. Oh, I did a lot less damage to it than I thought I did. Let me just grab that. Actually, let's just grab and run. So, okay, that there, that area is there is webbed up, so we can't go that way. Oh dear! Can you oh, find I just me up here? Now. Remember, the reason I started to collect Tau was for when they were fresh and new, they were basically the only good race, so to speak. Like, they were not races or all that. But people hated that. So when they made a new Tau armor book, mine is not like it anymore, they made the, they basically made so the Tau became what people nicked them as a space communist. Yeah, some sort of mind control stuff, and for some reason the FPS dipped to, to 30 there, so I'm changed up a bit, so it won't go that low anymore, hopefully. And there's a special boy up there. Uh, let's see, uh, yes lord in chat, the Tau do short warp jumps, okay. But they have warp now, okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, I've not been playing the board game in ages since. Well, I, I'm going to dorm school a lot, made it impossible. And the only one I played with was a uh, horrible loser, horrible winner. <laughs> but only one time I got. I did not allow him to even actually just wanted to run for once. And at that time I did win. He was threatening to leave. Oh, oh, oh. Another one of these. Okay, heal. And he, and he was also playing the Space Marines. And every time I was landing hits, he would get angry. So I'm, I just happy. Mm. Happy I'm not friendly with him. And last time he actually called me. When I was and I, when I had moved to town, no longer went to dorm school. He only called me because another ex-friend had told him that I had a car and could drive him. Uh, okay, this fact, is up here. I don't have a car. I don't know how to drive. <laughs> yeah, if you're friends with someone just for the benefits, uh, you are not friends. Yeah. And I, I still question why I was friend with him to begin with. Hmm. I was more actually at some point almost more afraid with him uh, actually. So you had a bit but of a I'm... situation like uh, <laughs> you know, Sasha and Anne in Fibia. Huh? My sort of close actually. Yeah, I guess. 
Okay, we have up here. Do I'm just there. happy we do we no longer speak and such. We just drifted apart without drama. Yeah, sometimes that is just for the better. Now, what way to go here? And it took a doom school to make me realize, oh, this is how it feels to actually have friends again. And of course, you and others on the Guild Wars 2 and all that. Yeah. Like, so, if... That was my phone giving a notification on something. So let me just silence that thing. Oh, it has it's, I'm pretty sure it happened. got some notifications, but didn't sound off on that. I'll just have to look what is not on silent notifications. Oh yeah, if, if you grow up with uh, something uh, bad as the standard, you... Oh, there's a oh, good chance you won't recognize it as being bad. Well, I was <laughs> recognized as being bad just... Rather late. I was just... I was just... No, no, I think I was just hoping for the best. And it was the only mm. one in the was willing to spend time with me and all that, but uh, I slowly, slowly <laughs> start to wonder why am I friend with the, this one? Yeah, people, sometimes people can just change over time. Yeah, I was probably hoping for that, but yeah, didn't happen. Yeah. Often people uh, over time change for the worst first. Yeah. This is probably why I like you. Do when it comes to you, can you remember there has been time I tried to remember and you that it's okay to say no. Yeah. For I have been sometimes worried that I'm a, a bad friend. For I don't want to boss you around. <laughs> uh, you don't. You don't. In that I thought I was safe with only one. With one having jumped me already. Bloody heck. Yeah. Right, what were you saying? <laughs> yep. What I'm saying is that first this one can go get lost. <clears throat> That's great. Uh, yeah, you, you, you don't boss me around. I, 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 for a second I, I was going, thought I was going to get jumped again. Yeah, if you, right. if you ever get a bit bossy, I will just uh, point it out. Yeah, I actually think I told you that many times. If I do some boss, it do please tell me. Yeah. Now, what is that? Actually, you get over there, get fed. Can we actually? <laughs> they scream when you toss them. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, it seems like they go up on their own. Oh. Yeah, we, let's blow Wait. this up. That's probably going to open up someplace. Yeah, the, wh uh, where is it? Well, if it is, is, isn't responding, then it's out here somewhere still. Uh, where did it go? I think I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> where the hell did it go? No, no, that is that is a bigger demon that I can hear. Hmm. That's a stock sound as well. Okay, can we get the drop? Yes, we can. Okay, I forgot this thing can have some range and some attacks. Okay, it seems that this... <clears throat> it seems that the storm form deals more damage. So we'll have to see if the elect... And, yeah, and some of the, the attacks do jumping uh, or have a uh, arcing damage. Hmm. Where did it, where the fuck did it go? There's a wall over there to blow up, and there's one over uh, this way. Was where, where? No, it's in the wall here somewhere. Yeah, it's here. The hell did it go? 
It, it just went to uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Probably. That seems important. A little ostentatious, if you ask me. For once, we agree. Hmm. Forgot what that means. Hmm, whatever. Yeah, that, one of the sins is in there, I'm, I'm thinking, from the way it's colored. Uh, ostentatious, the... ostentatious. And, oh. What is it? Something about this place. Oh, will you wish to repent for your sins? I will not waver to cleave the watcher head from your watcher body. Last sarcasm. Noted, mistress. Shield your eyes! Right. What is that? Well, well, well. Imagine my disappointment. To think that this is the best the Council has to offer. Of the fabled Four Horsemen, they send the lowliest, the most pathetic of all. Pride, charming as ever. I've come for you. <laughs> oh, really? As if you'd know what to do with me if you could have me. Please, spare me. Are you not one of the great seven deadly? Fight me instead of cowering, you pompous, pathetic Your excuse! Your taunts are a waste of breath, horsemen. No more an annoyance than the buzzing of a fly. Beneath my notice, like everything else in the Creator's grand experiment, even the greatest treasures of heaven and hell pale beneath my light. Scurry back to the hold you were born from. Perhaps when I am the only sin left on this sad little rock, you will be worthy of an audience with me. When I'm done, there will be no sins left standing. So you say. Considering your current state, I find it highly unlikely that we'll ever meet again. But by the rare chance, you do earn my favor. Find me in Ares. Though I highly doubt a creature such as yourself would be welcome in a place so refined. I encourage you to surprise me, horsemen. Until that time... Okay, I was sort of what expecting vanity. Insufferable creature. <laughs> Just shut up, you. <laughs> There's a lot of pride in that one. Duh. Can we actually it... start? Okay, what that looks to be that? an arena. Uh, what that was, was that, uh... Ilian? <laughs> no, that I think um, that was was uh, what. Fury was thinking to the, uh, the watcher there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the duh! <laughs> their attachment to such things. Mistress. They cling so desperately to this iconography. The symbolism of heaven and hell. They? Humanity. For thousands of years, they held the fruit of creation in their hands. But ignored it to squabble over totems and fables. Whatever the creator saw in them. Okay, what is that going to do? Is that just going to clean the place up? Nope. <laughs> it's going you up. Rang? To, it's going to open up the basement. <laughs> Heck. Well, we have Sloth, uh, Envy, Rast, Pride. Uh, what are the other three then? Lust, Greed, and... Lust and Greed are sins, I think. At least Lost. Uh, lost, not Lost. Uh, 
what is going to be the last one then, unless they change things around a bit? Yeah, it's not impossible for them to do that, but they have done that with, well, the Four Horsemen. True. Okay, that... Yeah. Four, oh. let, let, let's see if I remember the original four. War, Death, Famine... And pestilence? And Pestilence, yeah. I think we can agree, Famine and Pestilence will be very hard to make a hero, a action character of. Yeah. Too early again. Like, yeah, roll around and make everyone sick is, yeah, probably a little bit uh, disgusting. Yep. And, yeah, what, what would famine do? You make everyone starve? <laughs> yeah, debuffers don't really make for the best uh, action game protagonists. Let's see, uh, uh, it's conquest, not war in the Bible. Okay. Small difference, oh. but still. Yeah. I, okay, yeah, that makes me more confused. For almost every meter, you say war instead of conquest. Also, uh, <laughs> with pride over there, uh, I've heard of uh, different takes on Twin Tails, but that was a bit of a different one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, thought, I thought the one with pride is a fallen angel. Or, well, in this case, angel fallen down to pride. Uh, I, I will have to see what the specifics are with the, the sins and their origins, but I presume that they are primordial more than uh, created later. Yeah, no, that one was extre you had to agree with that one looks extremely angelic. Yep. Let's see, this way. Okay, for a second I was expecting an ambush again. I already know the answer. But yes, we're going down there. See, an outpost of the angels. But that isn't our exact mission. It became our mission when I found my horse skewered by angel spears. I'm not seeing anything that looks angelic over here. Uh, wait, look up. Or I think it was, was that one more meant through the portal or something? We are quite a bit away from the portal to get a, <laughs> to get a line about that. That will be a blind. Also possible. Let's see, for now though, let's get here. Still have a good amount of time left. Your Anything time. new? Okay, now we, oh, now we can buy these as well, though in limited amounts. And let's see. We'll probably want this, eventually at least. Um, I'm not too sure about saving up for this since, yeah, it's double the cost for the same amount of gain. Yeah, it, it's a bit weird price, unless you know, at the area where we'll be able to gather that amount of souls much faster. Okay, we do have 8,000 in this. Then another uh, two in that. Yeah, we can break this. Now we have a good amount, but we're... Well, I, I'm not going to break them until I'm absolutely sure we would have enough. Um, yeah, for now at least we're go not going to get that armor. And instead, let's see, we have two of these. Let's put one into here. And yeah, let's just get more health again. And oh yeah, we're definitely getting four of these in total. <laughs> All right, then. 
There were some parts we also could have gone down over there. But first, let's check out here. Is there anywhere we can jump? No, we cannot jump anywhere down there. Game over. Hmm. Okay, is this just going straight into a fight with pride? Or is there more to this place? I admire your confidence, but you are not ready <laughs> just yet. Okay, so there's literally nothing for us to do here and the hell is this place? Like some sort of in between? Or did they did they literally just pluck places from Earth into this place? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we at least know where we'll find the the last sin. So for now we'll be backtracking then. On to the next one. Hmm. I could probably feed Volgrim some souls again for some extra skill points or attribute points. But for now, oh, it, it, finally they're back. So get here. No. Get no. there. No. no. What it screams. is here? Oh, I don't know why you. it abused me. I don't know why it... What the... Oh, it's a cave demon. Get it? Cave demon? Oh, oh, we definitely now. caved in its skull. <laughs> <laughs> right. What have we there? I so. Yeah, I I thought it was some sort of box, but no, it's just a bo a boarded up window. Let's take that as well. And is there anything else here? Other than a tease? Doesn't look like it. Okay. No, well, then we go back and find where the hell we're next supposed to go then. Oh, I think there's another wall for us to blow up with the bugs. I think so. And they're already ready for us. So they don't nom, blow nom, up on nom, their nom, own. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. Up. <laughs> A bit too long. So let's just speed this up a bit. I can hear you. Eat your food and be ready. Was that was that an attempt to attack us? Maybe. Oh. Okay, good boy. Uh, sorry, I mean, good girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I completely overlooked them. Five's a crowd. It's achievements. So this is the fifth human that we've rescued. Wait, hold on, hold on. Look behind you. Hmm? That car is surprisingly clean. Now I see a lot of rust spots and stuff. Yeah, but still cleaner than the other cars we've seen. Yeah, probably because it's been inside. Yep. Point taken. Yeah, staying at a distance is not going to help much when you're facing Fury. Oh. And also I start to realize... Many people are really talking down on Fury. Yeah. yeah it's not going to help our anger management issues any. Okay, now you to deal with. Hmm. 
There we go. Hmm. Now we don't actually have any sort of grading in which of them... Oh, oh, okay, this just loops back. Which of the horsemen are the strongest or the weakest? Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, death is the strongest of them. But other than that, we don't know how the other three rank. I guess death is the leader? But otherwise, I think they are... They are powerful, but they also have their spe specialties. True, and speaking of power, I wonder what... Um, oh, hello there. Um, with death and war, it made sense why they were weakened uh, during their quests. But what is the reason that uh, Fury is so weakened? Or is she actually supposed to be the weakest of the horsemen? It might be. But I guess her development will be of uh, self-reflection. True. But I, I was more talking in combat power and such. Or it could just be because... Uh, hmm, their, their specific powers were meant to be released by the Seventh Seal or something like that. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to phase these two down here, which probably have healed by now. So let's just literally drop in on them. That monkey. Now, I don't think Thank a tongue like that is supposed to be on monkeys. Gorilla. Yep, I meant I meant to use a wrath attack, not uh, the havoc form. So let's cut that off short, so we still have some. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> this is... So, it's more of a Wrath form now. Now, okay. That was unexpected, and... Oh, I just noticed that the model was grimacing there, even though I wasn't. Yeah, it needs some calibration. But I'm, I'm probably... Oh, there, there wasn't even a web blocking this off. Come on. Yeah, it probably doesn't help as well that I'm wearing you know, glasses, which might throw off the facial recognition stuff a bit. And yeah, we are definitely going to need a different hollow here, probably ice or so. Hmm. Hmm. Then I guess we'll just have to follow the compass to the next sin that is available to us. I'm taking a guess that Wrath is probably going to be the second to last of the, uh, the yeah, of the sins. So Oh yeah. I think he might be the one we face when we get the water hollow. Probably it makes sense to face a fiery enemy with uh, water. Also I still need to change chat so that the text actually stays on screen. I'll have to look into that after this, though we are getting a bit low on time. Hmm. Is there anything hidden here? No, it, it's literally shallow. And yeah, we're we're going to need ice or something else. <clears throat> Pardon? For that? Actually, let's check. What happens if we jump in like this? That actually stays. Okay, it, it is more specific. It is more specifically storm and not actual uh, electricity. Though, well, we are using electricity as a power you know, as the damage. No. Could we make use of that updraft now? What Since the? We're all <laughs> Since we're we class playing as storm, anyways. I think something... Yeah, there's mobs here. No wonder, does it feel easier now on story difficulty? Uh, yeah, they, they definitely die a lot easier and... Oh, hello. 
It's not a complete cakewalk, like dying in one hit each or something. But it is easier. Though that could also be that I'm getting a crip on the dodging and stuff. <laughs> that too. Let's see. Can we upgrade our storm cosplay? Yes, we can. Okay, it just uh, it just completely launches us. We don't get to hover. Oh, two of you shadow things. Okay. Okay, so that also gives a bit of a warning if we're getting attacked from where we're not looking. Though it doesn't give us perfect timing or perfect notice of when we should dodge. And speaking of, I keep doing it too early. Yep. <laughs> okay, fully dodged into him there. Who's this? Hmm. For a moment I thought I, there was a figure leaning against this, but no, there was just some metal and wood. <laughs> Alright, mm. what have we this way then? Actually, it's not with the way that the compass is pointing, but we can still take a look. Why am I there some loot? Oh, we'll Poor find a path would... that we can we can only progress through later. Still, uh, maybe we can at least find another one of Volgrim's splints. And then we'll just have to play hot and cold with the compass. That's why I almost didn't see this thing against its background. No. Okay, quite deep. Now... Is there... one of our least favorite merchant's things around here? Okay, I think it's loading in the next area. Yeah, I can definitely see why uh, people have some issues with this game because, yeah, we've noticed at some points as well that the, in cutscenes the models just seem to have zipped from one position to the next. So it does feel like some things but might have been rushed. This is a viable path at the moment. Oh, there's one of the plinths. And we only have two minutes left, so... Yeah, might as well be a good spot. Yeah, and good. Funny you mention it, but I feel like in the sense this pandemic started, many games have not been uh, up to the same quality, at least for the big companies. As you wish. Mm -hmm. But even even when they delay the game, just the word that so many have to work from home on a game. Leads to there's so much more things that can go wrong. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of companies would probably try to blame that on uh, being unable to get people back into the work, the normal working environment. But working from home has a lot of positives as well. Yeah. And yeah, it can actually in many places it it actually works better for people than uh, yeah working in a location and just in general there are also other non well, in things that are only indirectly related to work that uh, get improved a lot because yeah there's a whole lot less uh, harassment on the work uh, nope. around here of late. thanks to you you've given humanity a chance and in kind i have a gift for you this trinket will enhance your raw power, making you an even more yep. formidable. That was one of those resets that I meant. Just jolt around for a moment. Rider's Mercy. 
forged by Ul Thane, this medallion harnesses the faith and appreciation of rescued humans, converting it into a raw energy that greatly enhances Fury's skills. Okay. Ooh. Do we upgrade this? No, we need one more. But yeah, in game development, I can see the pandemic causing issues since... Yeah. When you're doing a lot of modeling work and all that, and if it's a big company, the communication and all that, and there's so much things that can go wrong easier at that time. True. And uh, yeah, uh, motion capture, that would also be uh, rather difficult if you have to quarantine afterwards and before. Yeah, and it, so, yeah. If it, ups also, and downs. as an example, one is episode of uh, the Ice Boot Saga was they they had to add the voice acting after the episode was released, after a few months. Yeah, because they couldn't bring in the voice actors. Yeah. If it is a pandemic and a deadline, that can cause a lot of issues. Yep. <clears throat> okay, but we did pass uh, two hours. The time. Oh, I forgot to set the freaking timer. <laughs> so that's why. Uh, okay, just an extra minute or so. Uh, okay, seems like we're getting pushed that way. So, yeah, we'll see what is over there. Well, tomorrow then. <laughs> because this was another yeah, catch up true. stream. All right. So then, uh, yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Yeah, thank you, uh, yeah, thank you for chatting along, uh, yes, Lord. Uh, I'll look to get the chat fixed up a bit so that the text remains and uh, doesn't fade out anymore, that it just scrolls up. And um, yeah, as always, thank you, especially Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. <clears throat> and okay. Okay, this is taking a bit to load. I guess that's also a complaint that people probably had with this game. But yeah, we, we could we could yeah, we could spend two hours complaining about small things with the game, but it it hasn't completely broken it. Uh, or, so yeah, it would just be a waste of our own time. Yeah, and so, this, it works better than the other two. Hmm, somewhat debatable. We have had some issues with those games, but they're also a bit older by now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, ups and downs again. Uh, for now though, thanks again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. Be safe, folks!